Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, if this is your first time here, my name is Molly and I do a variety of reactions here. I've recently added in music reactions, but prior to that I've been doing some film reactions, lots of TV show reactions over the past couple of years, and then I also do find a game community content, uh, so a variety of things on this channel, and welcome. So it was highly recommended to me in some of my other videos that I check out this band, who is going to be another new one for me today, and this is Nightwish. The performance, the song itself is called Ghost Love Score, and this is a live performance at um, Wacken, which I believe this is the same setting where there was a very famous uh, live performance done by Queen. Um, so a lot of people were saying this was a very good introduction for me to this band and people were heavily suggesting that I needed to see this. You guys haven't let me down at all so far with any of your recommendations um, for musicians and different performances. So I'm looking forward to this, to seeing what they have to bring to the table. It's long. It says it's over 10 minutes. So I'm, I'm really curious about that, what we're going to be actually witnessing here, because most of the uh, music that I react to performances are, of course, um, considerably shorter than this. I think the longest other one so far has been like uh, five or six minutes. So I'm super curious about what this is going to be, especially if it's just a song, one song. So, all right. But it is a live performance and you know sometimes with live performances they want to add a lot of stuff in it so i guess there could be that as well but let's check it out guys here's my introduction to nightwish here we go let me turn it up Ooh, okay all right all right it's starting off pretty with the bag here this is the kind of music we got nice That instrument that I saw there. That is like an organ? Is that like an organ they have on stage there? Ooh, okay, alright, alright. Alright, we got some headbagging situation here. <laughs> now I'm really curious. And it does have a very kind of a supernatural sort of element to it with the metal and her voice. Okay. 
A dramatic pause moment. <laughs> this is very like a theatrical in the way of like the best uh, stage performers, the best musical stage performers can be, you know? <laughs> Here comes the drummer. Now time for the build-up. Oh yeah, the audience is clapping so they know. They know what's coming. <laughs> they know what's coming. They're like... Everyone's getting a moment of anticipation.
the wind blowing on it. She's just let it go. I got I wanted to just So first off, I want to just quickly comment on the name, of course. I made reference while they were performing to Ghost, of course, and the kind of ethereal, almost supernatural element involved in a lot of it. So, of course, I want to come back to that um, and touch upon that more. But the thing that I want to start off talking about is score, all right? And I feel like that is extremely appropriate. Because one thing that, to me, that was striking throughout the entire performance is, you know, I think I mentioned there's a theatricality to it, and I want to try to articulate properly what I meant by that. I, I mean almost literally like a, a um, not just a musical stage performance, but like a musical theater stage performance. It, um, so it seems like a score because to me it seems like it's it's not just a song but almost like it's telling a prolonged story that goes through various stages um, and you can see that in the the kind of cool down and build up that they have going into different parts and the song as a whole was very different sounding um, in terms of, of pace and power and what it seemed to be trying to convey an emotion in different points. So I think the name score is great because it's very appropriate to go along with that idea, the the feeling that it comes across as almost like it's a, a stage performance of a, almost like a, a musical theater show and it's telling a, a long story or like almost like the story of, of like a Grimm's fairy tale or something because it has that gothic element to it. Um, yeah, so then getting back to the ghost part, of course, it does, it carries with it a very kind of um, supernatural feel to it, and not just, of course, the song itself, I think it's very clear how that is the case, but also the way that it's performed, the performance element, um, not just the way that, like, say, she was dressed and presented herself, but even, like, the way that she was moving and they had the wind on her hair and staged with the various color lighting and the the smoke and how they had the light shine on her. It seemed almost like, like she was, like, some sort of supernatural being, like a witch or something, controlling the elements of what was going on. And it was very cool. That was very well done. But her voice is extraordinary. Um... I think, so a lot of people who were here for my, my first uh, Dimash reaction had commented on how I was talking about his ability to not just hold these really high notes and have, it, it was clear that he has, his, his vocal ability suggests that he has a kind of, uh, he had a kind of classic training, which he does, that you guys filled me in about it. And she has a very similar thing here, where even though this is a very different type of music and feeling that she's trying to set, there are operatic undertones, and there's a clear, obvious <laughs> element of her having had that kind of classical training, where not only does she have a, a, quite a range that she shows off throughout this performance, um, but she has the ability to project with a tremendous amount of power and to hold it um, for a long time and to do that multiple times throughout the course of the piece. Um, and that's one thing that I talked about with Dimash as well, that a lot of performers have the ability to do that sort of projection, but not for the performance of, of that long of a song. And so you'll have it happen, say, like once at the end, and that's it. And she did indeed have the buildup where kind of like the biggest part of that was near the end. But you also saw it multiple times throughout the course of the song and done in different ways. And so one thing that I was saying about him was that that was fairly unique. 
And so then people in the comments were saying, well, if you want to see the female version of that, here this is, and then we're recommending this to me. And I, I do definitely see the similarities in that because it does suggest both a, a kind of innate natural ability that not a lot of people have, um, but also a sort of classical training um, that maybe was then transported into this this very different type of music, but one in which it seems to very perfectly fit. And I think that kind of ties into the theatrical element of it as well. Like there's like an opera, like there's an operatic element to this. It's like a, a supernatural horror sort of opera song <laughs> element to it, which is very appealing to me. It's very cool. So yeah, I had a lot of fun checking that out. Um, I'd like to see, I'd be interested to see more of what they do, um, of course, and be curious about you guys in terms of, like, is is their recorded songs, um, does it have much of a, a different feel to it than, say, their live performances? Because, of course, for me, one of the things I'm commenting on here a lot is the theatricality of it that comes along with the live performance. So how different of an experience is it when you are just listening to it as a, say, like studio recording? Um, how much of it is a necessary, like a need to have that live performance feel and how much of it can carry over into what studio produced? Because obviously, I mean, I would guess that they have studio productions that people listen to. There was lots of people in the audience that were singing along and knew every word of the song, which I also want to look up the lyrics, but um, so I would guess that there's a lot of people that listen regularly to say like a recorded um, version of this. But then again, it could be just there's they have if they have a dedicated enough following that would follow them around on tour, there's also that distinct possibility. So I'd be curious about that and just like the background of the performers, the band. And if you guys have any other recommendations for me of other pieces of work or other performances of theirs that you'd like me to react to or think I should just check out for myself. Um, or, of course, as always, other musicians, um, musical groups anything that you would like to see me react to, please do feel free to let me know. You guys have not let me down so far. So far, every single recommendation has been, mwah, it's <laughs> been beautiful and I've been really excited to be introduced to these people. I really do want to check out more of their music because um, this is just like a, a style, a feel of music that I really personally very much like. And this is like the sort of thing that I would just want to listen to <laughs> in my free time, I guess, to say. You know, I'm very into supernatural things, um, horror, fantasy, all those sorts of elements in, in all of my media that I like to consume, not just music, but of course in movies, um, in television shows, in books. So it's it, this very much appeals to me. So, all right, I think I'm going to wrap this one up here because this is definitely a long video since it was a long performance. So thank you guys so much for joining me and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.